This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at video compression basics inside the newly updated Adobe Media Encoder. In this excerpt, I'll show you the brand new media browser inside AME. This is the brand new Adobe Media Encoder CC, the June 2016 release. It has a new workspace layout, and in fact, we can now set up our own workspace. The biggest addition is this section right here called the Media Browser. Just like the Media Browser inside Adobe Premiere, it allows us to select a drive, and we can now scroll down and see all the different folders that are on the drive. And for instance, we could say a folder that we use all the time, one that I use all the time, is Training Media, which contains all of my media that I use for all of the articles that I write in video training. If I control click or right mouse click on this, I can add it as a favorite. It then shows up as the favorite up here. I can then double click it and I'm inside my training media folder. And if I ever want to take a look at what I've got to work with, just uh, double click and I can see all the files that are inside. Mm, see if we've got some oh hummingbirds. I haven't seen the hummingbirds for a while. If I grab the slider, I can increase the size of my thumbnails. And if I click here, I can get a list of my, my clips. I can filter so I can just see a Premiere project or I could see DV streams or whatever else if I wanted to isolate this. I can even search for something and look for a particular file that's in the, the folder or hard disk that I'm looking at. This is exactly the same operation that we have with the media browser inside Premiere. One of the factors that I like a lot is the keyboard shortcut, which is the tilde key. If I press the tilde key, which is right above the tab key, this enlarges to full screen. and press the tilde key again, and we are back down. Wherever the cursor is, enlarges full screen. Tilde, blow it up, and blow it back again. Look at this. Notice that there's three settings, favorites, local drives, and network drives. If you want to make something a favorite, all you have to do is right click on it, and if it's a folder or a drive, you can add it to favorites, although adding a drive doesn't make any sense because the drive is already there. But notice this network share. I have three hard drives here. I've got my internal drive, I've got my attached via Thunderbolt second drive, but I also have a business share that's on the server. Well, I can now see that shared drive here by clicking on it, and I can see all the different elements that are in that network drive. This makes it really easy to access both locally attached storage and network attached storage. It treats them both the same, and I can select the file that I want, which is really cool. If you don't need to see it, just twirl it up and it won't distract you. And if you need to remove something as a favorite, just simply right mouse click or control click on it. Say remove from favorites and it's gone again. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at video compression basics inside Adobe Media Encoder. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 197. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.